I'm Song Trung Tring from the Graduate Schools of Arts and Science, the Graduate Program on Environmental Science, Wataru Takeuchi Lab of Remote Sensing on Environment. I have three photos taken at the same place from different perspectives. In the photo on the left, this is what a fish would see, a home, where it can lay eggs. A biologist would see a marine flowering plant called seagrass and recognize its roles in mitigating climate change. In the middle photo, this is what a fisherman would see, where they can grow fish and make a living. An ecologist would see the role of seagrasses to the ecosystem and to human life. In the photo on the right, this is what a satellite would see. A broader view of the vast seagrass beds in a coastal town nearby. I, a remote sensing scientist, would see the change of the ecosystem and study human impacts on the seagrass beds over time. Seagrasses are important for our life both at a local and global scale, but we are losing them very fast. It is estimated that 7% of seagrass beds are lost every year. Seagrass conservation is still limited because of the lack of monitoring. In developing countries, such as my country, Vietnam, monitoring activities of seagrass beds are done only every few years and only at a few specific sites. We don't know well the patterns of change in seagrass distribution and that prevents us from protecting them. My research is to bridge this knowledge gap and improve conservation. I aim to review the change to the seagrass beds in the entire coastline of Vietnam in the last 30 years at every place and once every month. This will provide insights to improve conservation activities. So I wrote a program to analyze tens of thousands of images from the Landsat satellite. The code would first remove cloudy pixels then look under the water column and decide whether there is seagrass or not. This way, the algorithm will estimate how much seagrass there is. I found that seagrass beds have decreased throughout Vietnam. The most significant loss occurred where there are a lot of aquaculture activities. The most rapid loss was in the late 1990s in response to economic incentives to boost fishery exports. Vietnam is now the fourth largest exporter of aquaculture products, but at the cost of the seagrass beds. So by looking at the environmental problem at different scales, I made a step towards improving our conservation of these precious undersea forests, the home to the fish, the livelihood of fishermen and fight back climate change. Thank you very much.